dreams Punta Cana. I have run into a lot of you already on this trip and you've come up to me here and you've asked, James, what the heck are you doing here? This hotel is not your style. And I responded, wow, you really know me. And you're absolutely right, this hotel is not my style. But I just came off of eight straight days at Breathless and Royalton Chic. I needed to switch up the pace a little bit. This hotel is right next door to those. And also this place is wildly popular, insanely popular. And I have to find out why. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Dreams, Punta Cana. All right, dreams, Punta Cana. You know, sometimes life gives you what you need and uh, life or the universe has given me dreams, Punta Cana. This is gonna be an interesting stay. So I got here and my check-in experience was dreadful. It was terrible. Uh, they were rehearsing the late night show for tonight, the entertainment show, uh, right next to check-in. And the late night show is a rock band and they were rehearsing at full decibel strength. It was like checking in inside a jet engine. I just had to like, comically laugh at it like is this real life right now uh, my room wasn't ready i was early so i waited at the preferred club and the preferred club here is nice uh lots of premium alcohols so you got your gray goose your stoli elite all the high-end stuff i'll definitely be spending time there um, i had a green monster and then i had a mango passion fruit ice both were amazing and now i'm in my room and this room is tiny it's small. Um, I'd say it's probably even smaller than Royal Ten Sheiks, which I was very critical of. I couldn't imagine putting a family in here. Not happening. Uh, even with a couple, it would get really, really tight, mainly because the bathroom is so claustrophobic and only a single vanity. Um, you're definitely gonna have to take appointments for the bathroom. However, the bed is really nice, uh, really soft and comfortable. And then also, I really like this balcony. It's triangulated at apexes and overlooks to the pool. Um, that way I can keep my eye on all the action. Um, I'm liking the balcony setup for sure. All right, evening number one here at Dreams Punta Cana. It's time to get this trip officially, officially started and moving in the right direction. Uh, I'm off to the number one restaurant on site. It is adults only, no children, there's a dress code, and it's French. This is pretty much perfection to my ears. It's called Bordeaux. First official full day here at Dreams Punta Cana. Uh, the French restaurant last night, Bordeaux, it was all right. Uh, the food was better than the atmosphere, which is really no secret. It definitely wasn't of the Bordeaux caliber of like a secrets though. Uh, I'd say the best two dishes were uh, the terrine and then the pork loin. The cool thing about that restaurant is that it did overlook the ocean and the pools. That was really neat. Uh, this morning I woke up and I hit the gym. The gym was super old school, really industrial, and I loved it. Lots of great equipment in there and also not a soul in there so really easy to get a workout in uh, I just got some nourishment at the preferred club and now I'm off to the pool it is a fantastic day today this pool is sprawling it's gargantuan I am probably gonna start at the general section kind of towards the middle and I work my way to the end which is where all the action seems to be
I just finished up at the general pool area. It is a lot like Majestic Elegance is. Same type of setup, it is sprawling. It almost runs the length of the campus. There are some narrow stretches, there are some wide stretches, some alcoves, some twists, some turns, lots of bridges. My favorite aspect, of course, is Barracuda Bar. I'm in love with that place. Kinda has like a tiki aspect, there are swings outside. Uh, I had a Flamingo, which is the best drink I've had here so far. And then I had a Scorpion, and that thing is aptly named because it will bite you. It is light rum, dark rum, triple sec, and brandy. Wow, it should be called Lights Out. So I'm chilling right now in a koi pond. There's a koi pond right on the other side of the pool. I just love like how it's really zen in here. It's a great spot to give you an update. Now I'm headed to the anchor portion of the pool on the very end. That's where the energy is, that's where the activity is. I'm excited to see what it's like. I did finish at the end of the pool. Uh, the swim up bar anchors it. That is where the energy and action is going to be. Now remember, this is a family hotel, so any energy, action, and activity is gonna be pretty muted. But if you are looking for a little bit of fun and fervor, head to the end of the pool because that's where it's going to be. Now I have news on the beach. I caught a glimpse of it and it is... It's decent. It looks to be pretty good. Um, I've been critical of the beaches in this Uvera Alto region. I haven't found them to be that impressive. However, this one looks to be pretty nice, so I'm looking forward to exploring that further, possibly tomorrow. As of right now, I'm famished. It's been a long day in the sun. I'm out the door to dinner, and I'm thinking Italian. I knew the Italian dinner last night was gonna be amazing the second I walked up to the restaurant. Uh, it had these bridges that overwent these waterways. It was really, really cool. And then I got inside and my jaw dropped a little bit. It was like eating in this old world Italian lodge. It had uh, marble pillars, it had lumber columns on the ceiling. It was quite the beautiful place to eat. Then I asked for the welcome drink or the special drink as I always do. And then they brought me a Mai Tai. Never heard of a Mai Tai being a welcome drink at an Italian restaurant. I'm pretty sure a Mai Tai is not Italian, but it is one of my favorite drinks, and that's how I knew the experience was going to even get better. I ordered a smorgasbord of stuff. I worked my way around the menu. You're probably expecting me to say that the lasagna was the best, and although it was good, it was stuffed with ratatouille, I would say the best dish was the caprese and then the beef tenderloin. This morning, I woke up early, and I promptly went to the gym. I had to work off those calories, and then after the gym, I just walked around this property, and I noticed something. There is a lot of wildlife on this property. I mentioned the koi pond yesterday uh, and then I saw like a family of flamingos just walking around on their own and then I found a duck pond and that's kind of where I spent my morning. I just kind of decompressed and zenned out with the ducks by the pond. And that leads me to right now, it is day number three. I declare this day beach day. The weather is perfect. There's a lot of beach to cover. Let's go check it out. It is intermission time here for my beach day. I just finished at uh, Barefoot Grill, which is the beachside barbecue shack. Uh, I just had a Dominican hot dog. Put that on your bucket list if you've never had one. A Dominican hot dog is like 50% hot dog and then 50% condiments. Actually, probably condiments make up more than half of the hot dog. Whatever the ratio is, it was 100% deliciousness. I loved every single bite of it. I do want to try to find the preferred club section of the beach. I thought I was at preferred club, but I was just at the regular section, which means the regular section was really good. But I definitely want to find the preferred club and see what that's all about.
boom, it's my last day here at Dreams Putakana. Uh, I have a big food update for you just very, very quickly. Uh, last night I ate at Humitsu. It is the Japanese place here on site. Uh, they do have a hibachi component if that's what you want to do. For me, I'm over hibachi for the very foreseeable future. Uh, if you've done one hibachi at a Putakana all-inclusive, you've done them all. So I'm over that, scratch that. I just ordered off the menu. Uh, the overall experience was very, very average. Uh, the food was average at best and the decor and the ambiance was pretty average. It was your quintessential average experience. This morning I woke up and I went over to Oceana for breakfast. I've been meaning to get over there and I finally did on my last morning here. Uh, it is the exclusive breakfast and lunch spot only available to preferred club guests. Um, I really enjoyed my time over there. The menu wasn't the largest, but it was great to be waited on for breakfast for once. Uh, yes, you could sit down at a buffet, but it just isn't the same. It was nice just to order off a menu for breakfast for once, have someone wait on you so you can really just kind of take in the beautiful Putacana morning. I love the place. It was tranquil, relaxing. It had some indigenous like cultural decorations and plus it overlooked both the pool and the ocean. That leads me to right now, it is my last afternoon here. I want to go check out the pool during the hotspot time. You know, typically, as I mentioned, the hotspot time at the pools in Putacana are like from 3 to 4.30, 3 to 5. I walked past the main pool yesterday around that time and it was, dare I say, hopping. What's it going to be like today? I'm going to go find out. I enjoyed my time at the pool. I really, really like this pool. It's one of my favorite pools in Putacana. Uh, it just, everything comes together. It's got a great layout. It's got a great vibe. Um, it has a fun atmosphere, good music, fun for people of all ages. The party didn't turn up as much as it had in other days, which is interesting because typically the Friday and Saturday crowds here are the loudest and the most energetic, but that's okay. I just enjoyed my time sitting out there in the sun and enjoying the afternoon. It's my last night here, and I'm off to dinner. I'm thinking Seaside Grill. Seaside was the least best, AKA the worst. Least best, worst, same thing. I try to be positive. Uh, it gets to the same point though. It is the worst meal I've had while I've been here at Dreams by far. I ordered the main entree based off of name. You've seen me do this quite a bit. It works out in my favor a lot. You know, I order like a really cool name dish and it comes out and it's fantastic. This one was not. Sometimes you crash and burn and I crash and burn on this entree. It was called the Lifesaver. It was this double cheeseburger, and I had such a hankering for a double cheeseburger. It was called the Lifesaver. What could go wrong? Well, it was basically like a hockey puck with cheese. Yeah, uh, that did not go well. So I'm actually still really hungry. I've been eating the pizza from earlier before in this day. Um, what I should do is end the trip right now just because I'm so exhausted. I have a big day tomorrow. I have to wrap up and do this video. But I am your travel Labrador. I'm your human sled dog. I will never let you down. I do want to end on a positive note or at least try. So what I think I'm gonna do is go check out the entertainment show for tonight. So I'm pretty sure I'm over going to those entertainment shows at night. Does anyone really ever choose the hotel based on the entertainment show? I mean, really, do you? No, you base this hotel or the hotel you're going to in Putacana or anywhere, you know, based off its amenities, the luxury, the pool, the beach, the food, uh, the crowd, any number of reasons. No one chooses it based off the show. You're going to go to the show or you're not going to go to the show. It's just kind of there. So I think I'm over shows for the time being. I, I may go to the show at Excellence after this because it is Excellence. I want to see what one of the best shows at one of the best hotels is like, but after that, I think I'm done with shows for a while. Very quickly, I wanna talk about Preferred Club. 
Is it worth it? I always try to upgrade to the preferred club or any of the upgrades at these all-inclusives so I can communicate to you if it's worth it or not. I have to say on this one, I really don't think it is. I actually found the general section of the beach as good as the preferred club section of the beach. In fact, I mistook the two. So I don't think you're gonna miss out at the beach. Um, there's no like preferred club special pool like you may find at Secrets or another property. And also there is a preferred club lounge, which I loved. I went over there to get some snacks early in the morning and also late at night. Uh, that is where you're gonna find your top tier liquors like your Stoli Elites and your, your upper echelon liquors. But you can only get those top tier liquors there. That means anytime you actually want a proper liquor or a proper drink, you have to walk over to the preferred club, which means you need to get up out of your room and go over there. You need to leave the pool and go over there. You need to leave the beach and go over there. Those drinks do not come to you. So I have to say that overall, I don't think preferred club is worth it on this property. So I'm going to sum up Dreams Putacana as Love, like, hate. You know, love, like, don't hate, but I think love, like, hate is like more poetic. It has more theater to it. So, love, like, hate. I love the pool. It is one of the better pools I've seen in Putacana. I didn't expect the pool to be so impressive given like the age of the property and also given like the demographics. I absolutely love this pool. Uh, I love the nature. I feel there should be more synergy and integration with nature here on these Putacana properties. There's so much, there's so many opportunities to do that. I actually haven't seen like the intertwinement with nature at any other property. And here you had a koi pond, which I loved. Uh, you had the flamingos that were freely walking around the property. And then also you had the duck pond as well. You know, these places, these compounds can be so chaotic. They can kind of be bedlam at times. They're massively overpopulated. I think infusing them with natures and animals it brings like a sense of balance and calmness to the property. The last thing I loved was the service. Uh, they were impeccably trained. Uh, some of the best service I've had in Putacana. You know, it's on par with something you would expect at Secrets, which is a sister property, and also Breathless, which is a related property. But I feel like this overall company, I think it's AMR, I feel they do service very, very well. If you are looking for that five-star service, uh, you absolutely want to come here. Uh, everybody from the bartenders to the housekeeping to basically any staff member you're going to encounter, they're friendly, they're warm, they're helpful, and they aim to please. I was highly impressed with the service here at Dreams. Let's get to the likes. There are three of them. The first thing I liked was the beach. Now, the beaches up here in this region are not my favorite. I've made that clear in a couple other videos. Uh, but of the beaches I've seen thus far, I think this is my favorite one. So if you're looking for a decent beach up here in the Uvira Alto region, you definitely want to check out Dreams. I can't believe I'm going to say this one. I like the crowd here. I would have never expected me to say that. I expected this to be predominantly families, heavily families, and it wasn't. It was probably one of the best mixes of crowds I've ever seen. It wasn't just all adults only party crowd and it wasn't all couples and it wasn't all families. It was a mix of everything. You had young families, older families, you had multi-generational families, you had uh, couples, you had groups of couples, you had large groups, you had small groups. So the crowd was a perfect mix and I think no matter what type of person or group you're coming with, you're gonna be able to blend in, socialize, and be comfortable. And lastly, this place is charming, it's lovable. I am gonna talk about the drawbacks here momentarily, but there's no denying that this place has character, it has personality, it is a warm environment, and it's charming and lovable. I really enjoyed the energy here, and again, that's a thing I would have never expected to say prior to this trip. So that's what I liked and loved. Here is what I didn't like or actually hated. Uh, number one, the easiest one are the rooms. They are small, they are outdated, uh, they are worn. They are definitely showing their age. Uh, it's probably one of the worst rooms I've seen in Punta Cana. Secondly, uh, the Wi-Fi is brutally terrible. It's probably the worst Wi-Fi I've had thus far in Punta Cana. Now, I know we are in a tropical destination and we should try to detach and disconnect as much as possible, but let's say you wanna just snap a photo and send a few megabyte file, that in itself is a chore, or God forbid you want a VPN into your office and do an email or something, that's pretty much not going to happen. If connectivity is of big importance to you, uh, you definitely gonna wanna stay away from this property. Location, I didn't really hate the location, but I really didn't 
like it either. You know, this is my third hotel up here and I'm learning that I really don't like this Uvera Alto region. I think there are better regions to go to that are more accessible, more convenient, closer to the airport, and also that have better beaches. So I'm really not a big fan of this region up here. I think it's isolated. And if you do need to leave the property for whatever reason, it is going to be a very, very lengthy drive to wherever you have to go. Uh, lastly, the value. I thought this place was overpriced. I think you get a lot more for your money at a lot more hotels in Punta Cana. Uh, you know, just to compare it to like a Royalton, I think a Royalton is more refined. You get larger rooms. The Royaltons are more modern. Uh, they definitely are more elegant. You get a butler service. Um, the, I think Royaltons probably have better food. For the price, I just don't think there's a lot of value. There are absolutely better deals and better hotels for the money in Punta Cana. So that is it for Dreams Punta Cana. I actually was pleasantly surprised. I didn't think I would like the hotel as much as I did. It does have some big drawbacks, which I discussed, and I think those drawbacks are glaring, but it also does have some lovable and redeeming qualities as well. However, for the price you're paying and what you get, I just don't think the value's there. So for that reason, I'm gonna give it a base rating. I'm gonna give it a one. Now remember, I only stay at the best hotels in the world and I rate the best hotels against each other. So when you pit the very best against each other, there's going to be a top and there's going to be a bottom. I think this is a great property with a lot of appealing and enduring traits. But when compared against the other hotels that I've been to, it just doesn't stack up. Again, it's charming. It's lovable. I love the nature aspect. The pool is great and the crowd was actually really, really fun. If you can get past the smaller rooms, the kind of outdated decor and the mediocre value, I think you could have a great time here. So even though I'm giving this hotel a one, my base rating, I still had a good stay here. I think the hotel is incredibly well-rounded, perfect for people of all ages looking to come to Punta Cana and having their quintessential tropical hotel getaway.